Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today is grocery shopping day, you guys. And can I just make one statement up front? Groceries are expensive. They just expensive. That's all I gotta say about that. So let me share with you what I was able to get. So um, for the first time in a very long time, I got Jackson some Gala Apple or Fuji apples. They were $3.99, really expensive. But this is a stock up back to school haul because my kids go back to school next week. I'm filming this on Thursday. They go back to school on Tuesday because Memorial Day, Labor Day, Labor Day is Monday. So I'm off from work on Monday. The kids go back to school on Tuesday. And while they're home, they eat, you know, so, you know, they eat. I got two bags of coleslaw. This was $1.99, buy one, get one free. Very good deal. The wings, they were $10.99, but they were buy two, get three free. So I got five bags of wings for like um, $20. And they actually, I think, ended up being like $8.99. So five bags of wings for about $18, bucks, $20 or less. Picked up some of these extreme wellness wraps. We like those. They were $3.49. Picked up two of the bologna at $0.99. Cents. This um, Smucker Sugar-Free Preserves was $3.49. And these mini peanut butter filled uh, pretzels are for Jackson. They were $4.99. Then they had the Sola Granola, which my kids do like and use as a cereal. They were $5.99. Buy one, get one free. And then these are the Fiber One Brownies. They only have five net grams of carbs. And we got one that was the um, cinna uh, cinnamon coffee cake, five net grams of carbs. They were two for five. I had a dollar off coupon, so I got two for four. The Lakanto monk fruit sweetener was $5.99. The Truvia brown sugar, which is a little bit better than the Splenda, was $6.99. And then I found these. These were the Lily's chocolate chips. Now, normally I get the dark chocolate but they have the semi-sweet and they have the milk chocolate at my Harris Teeter now. They didn't used to have those, but they have them now. So I ended up getting these because out of all of them, these were the lowest amount of net grams of carbs. So all in total at Harris Teeter, I spent $73.63. I only used um, 50 cent coupon, 50 cent coupon, you know, doubled coupons was 50 cent. My Vic Savings was $45.55. I saved 39% on this shop trip, and I ended up with 155 fuel points. So this is my Harris Teeter. Okay, haul. so here's what we got at Walmart. So we did Walmart. I got some butter at $2.98. Cream cheese, $1.33. My broccoli florets and my cauliflower, they were $0.98 cents a piece. String cheese was $2.84, and these blueberries were $1.98. Eggs went back up this week. I got the 60 count eggs. They were $5.14. Ranch packets, I got four of those at 50 cents each. Angel Soft toilet paper was right at $3.98. Then I picked up the extra large shrimp. They were $5.44. Salmon, uh, pink salmon, they were $4 for a pound. Tilapia fillets were $3.88 for a pound. I picked up a big party bag of the max pork rinds we've been using these to make um truffles and so they were 298 this butter spray was a dollar 38 and then this unsweetened vanilla almond milk was 182. i did also get a big thing of water and so at walmart i ended up spending 48. okay 72. you guys so this is store number three and i went to aldi so I have some of the, these are the um, Ziploc bags. We have the quart size and the gallon size. We use those quite often. They were $1.89 a piece. We got some oranges. They were $2.49. Jackson eats these. So we got these. He said he wanted to save them for his lunch snacks, which is totally fine. He likes those. 
we got some of these um, mini cucumbers. I think they were $2.39. We make a dip with the cream cheese and the ranch. We got these radishes for $1.29 each. I got two of those. We're going to have one for dinner tonight. And I'm going to do a radish au gratin. We got some dried um, Italian salami for $5.99. And then some chicken breast strips. They were 50% off, so we got them for like $1.45. Um, then we got these two things of elevation bars. They were $4.99 a piece, I believe. We got a ch double chocolate caramel crunch and then a peanut butter fudge crisp. They both only have, uh, well, this has three net grams and this has two net grams. And I have to have snacks at work. And sometimes I don't have time to eat. Like I have not eaten anything today at all and it's 6.46 in the evening. I thought I was getting off work half day. I was gonna have lunch at home. And I didn't get off and I went straight to the grocery store. So it is almost 7 o'clock p.m. And I have not eaten since the same time last night. So I'm starving. Anyway, um, heavy whipping cream, $1.45. We got some pepper jack cheese. That was $1.29. These uh, sparkling drinks were $0.55. Cent. Your cream cheese was $0.79. Then I got these raw almonds, pecans, pistachios. They were $4.99. We picked up some asparagus we're going to do the um, garlic parmesan asparagus on sunday when our friends come over for lunch picked up another thing of zucchini this for all three of these were a dollar 29 and the zucchini i got at walmart for two of them was a dollar oh five and they were half the size sour cream if i didn't say that one already that was i think a dollar 29 ish your strawberries were a dollar 29 these were 249 something like that so that is what I got at Aldi, and I spent right at $51 and some change. Then we rolled back over to Walmart because I needed to get just two more bags of cauliflower. We go through a lot of cauliflower since we started ricing it. We eat a lot of it. And then two, they were 98 cents. And then two things of sliced cheese, they were $1.33. We picked up the Mega Sours at $2.50. They were on sale. And then one thing of grated Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to share with you our meal plan. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to be cooking out of two specific cookbooks this week. These are the ones I grab all the time. They're, I have... A instant pot one that I need to I, I've been through there and found some recipes that I really like but I honestly need to just get my life and go ahead and do what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna be doing some recipes out of southern keto if you are a southern girl southern keto is a game changer and then I'm gonna be doing something out of craveable ketos cookbook so here is my menu plan I don't have days for these these are just when I think I'm gonna, uh, you know, what I think I'm going to cook. So I'm gonna do sausage and rice. I have some sweet Italian sausage and some cauliflower that we will rice. So sausage and rice, we really do like that. We're gonna, or we're gonna do zucchini and sausage au gratin, one of the two with the sausage. I have zucchini, so we might go that direction. We're gonna do some garlic Parmesan wings and some buffalo or barbecue wings. I've got five bags of wings that I need to use. Then we're going to do either tilapia or shrimp patties because I have um, some shrimp. And I think if I do both of them and grind them up, I could make probably a double batch. So I may do that or I may just do one or the other. haven't decided. Then in the Southern Keto Cookbook, they have a recipe called um, Memphis Style Ribs. But I don't have ribs. But what I do have are pork chops. So I'm going to pull the rib rub recipe and use that on pork chops and see if I don't like that but I think I will like that very much so that is what I'm planning on doing as far as I was looking for it and I can't find it but I think that's gonna that sounds really good especially that rub on some pork chops I think it will be perfectly fine and I'm still not able to find it in this book but no no Oh, there it is. So this is the Memphis style ribs. And so I think I'm just gonna put that on pork chops and then I'm gonna put it maybe on a um, raised rack and put it into the oven and see if we like that. Then I plan to do some garlic butter steaks because we have a couple steaks. And tonight we had garlic Parmesan turkey cutlets, which were really good. It's just everything you would do to a garlic Parmesan wing and you just put it on your turkey cutlet, which looks like a chicken breast. So that is our menu plan. 
So there it is, you guys, our grocery haul, our meal plan. This is a stock up week for us because we have on, this is so honest, when you have been on a tight budget for your summer months and now it's time to go back to school, I'm packing lunches, the kids have to pack lunches, so I may or may not go out and do another fill-in because I'm at three schools plus my office. So I've got four places I have to be. And like today, I found myself at work. I didn't have anything. I didn't have a bottle of water. I didn't have a snack. I had nothing. So I have to prepare better for myself to be able to make sure that I have something every day at every place that I am. So I'm, tomorrow Harris Teeter is having their Coke products, two forty-seven dollars a piece, maximum of two. So I'm going to try to go in and get two of those. Um, I'm meal prepping this week for a friend of mine. So some of these meals he will have as well. Um, we're doing the garlic parmesan um, asparagus. We are also going to do, we might do some green beans, southern style green beans. And I have the radishes i want to do uh like a radish au gratin as well so i have that as sides so anyway we do hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button also hit the little bell that way you never miss an upload from us to all of our new subscribers thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with us we just you know doing our thing around here we're keto we're probably more lazy keto some days we're more low carb but we do not consume what we consider carb heavy foods. We stick with keto friendly foods. And so we're doing our very best. I'm actually in a good place. Um, I'm back to work. So I now have what I know will be guaranteed grocery money, which is always good and helpful. Um, working on a few side hustles to try to have some extra money um, as I need it. So anywho, there it is. Thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel and we'll see you next week. Bye now.